What's going on everyone? My name is Equagan. You can call me EK. In today's video, I want to go over the Zao's Bane hand cannon. The King's Fall hand cannon. I came back into Destiny 2, and I feel like in Destiny 2, it actually feels a lot better than it did in Destiny 1. There's a lot of different roles out there, and I'm going to go over each role. I'm going to try to talk about situation for these roles and why you should go after some of them. So if I'm looking at Zao's Bane right now, it's a pretty good weapon. I mean, let's just say it's a 140. Okay. Now for Crucible. Let's start out with Crucible. If I'm going to use this hand cannon with my playstyle, there's a few options here. All right. Of course, I'm going to go Eye of Storm. Most people are going to tell you open and shot, which gives you that, you know, 25 range if you want it. With 20 aim assist, you also get the accuracy cone and the accuracy cone growth. But I'm looking at this weapon and aim assist is at 77. Do I really need to get this to that next level with another 20, which will make it 97? I don't think so. I should be fine. I would like to go for explosive. And then if I go for the explosive and I get it enhanced, or yeah, enhanced, it gives me another plus 5 range. And if I'm talking Crucible status, not only am I getting a range from Explosive, I'm also getting stability on Eye of the Storm here. Now you can see that I already got plus five in range of stability. When it comes to my mag, I'm probably gonna go with Accurize Rounds, which brings my range up even further. The nice thing here is most folks will do full bore, but guess what? I could do Hammer Forge because since I have the five range from Explosive Payload, I kinda basically gives me back what I'm missing here, okay? Now, when it comes to massive work, it depends on your play style. I feel like most folks are probably gonna tell you to go for handling. I'm probably gonna tell you to go for range. And with that, this weapon ends up at 78 range. I believe this counts master work? I am not too sure, actually. But if the weapon is master work, it should be at 80, possibly. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Now, let's say that you're one of those players that wants to go handling in Crucible. Instead of going with Hammer Forge, you can go with Fluted. Right? You're losing about 10 range, but you gain great handling. And then you could probably do a handling mass sword. All right? So now your weapon has more handling, but I would say try to even it out. Try to get, try to get it to somewhere where you're comfortable with it. All right? Now, let's go into PvE. For PvE, for most folks, this is what I recommend. Hammer Forge, Flare Magwell. I like the reload and stability here. If you're doing things at light, Explosive is going to be there. Now the question is, do you want Incandescent or do you want Firefly? Now they're both really nice. If I go into a Nightfall that has an EQ burn and it's solar, I may just use Firefly because I know that I can get it to proc off a lot, right? Incandescent is also another perk that you can have here. So sure, if, if you defeat a target, express Scorch to others nearby. And the thing is Scorch stacks. And if you're running a solar subclass, this goes well together. So having this here, to me, is much better than having Firefly. Would I take this role into endgame, meaning a GM where I'm 25 levels under? My answer to you is going to be no. I'm going to show you what I crafted because I feel like I'm going to use this a bit more, especially if hand cannons end up on an artifact. So we've seen all the options here. And when I go to my hand cannon, you'll see. So this is what I put on. I want a hammer forge, the flare magwall. I have the explosive payload, and I have one for all. Why one for all? One for all gives me 35% extra damage for 11 seconds because it's the enhanced version. So that means if I walk in a room and I shoot three different targets, for about nine seconds, I get to do more damage, right? That allows me to clear up miners even quicker. I understand that Firefly allows me to, you know, clear up ads and Incandescent kind of does the same thing. But you got to remember that Explosive Payload also gives me a damage buff as well. So having these two things together is actually not a bad thing, right? If I hit the body, that's a 50% extra damage to the body, all right? So for a primary, 
being able to have 35% for that amount of time, depending on the right player's hand, you're set to go. Now, when it comes to my masterwork, you can even see here, too. I'm going to take the camera off because I want to show, like, everything here. You're going to notice my range and stability are in a good spot. My handling is in a good spot, and my reload is in a good spot. The only thing that I'm doing here is adding handling to this gun. If you're going to ask me about uh, my, uh, my frame, I went with handling. So that is it. This is, this is the role that I wanted. This is the role that I'm probably going to use in endgame for GMs. Now, I am going to eventually make another role. And that role is probably going to have a condescent on it. But for now, I don't really feel the need to have it. Also, I got lucky and I kind of got to try this out uh, before I crafted the other role. So I got to like try this out and see if I liked it. Okay, so this week... We had King's Fall, Master King's Fall, and if you've done the challenge, you have a chance to get uh, a Harold weapon, which is basically the dev version, and the hand cannon dropped, and I was able to obtain this to even test it out, see if I like it, and I did. Now, you're going to ask me what's the difference between a normal weapon and a, a Harold or a Depth. If you can craft it, you're going to have a hand perks. If you don't want to craft it and you end up getting a Depth weapon, the base stats are like maybe two more in each slot and you can put a dead mods on but that's about it literally you can just where's, where's the dead big ones at if i was ever to run this i'll probably just run this for like a dead big ones but that's about it maybe in the future bungee will look into how depth weapons are dealt with and how they can kind of help replayability in the game but that's about it for this video if you have any questions don't forget i stream live at twitch.tv slash quagan also we actually have started a new community clan so if you're out there you're playing you're trying to find people to play with uh you're more than welcome to try to you know show up in the channel try to join the clan meet up some cool people and play with them all right that's about it i'll see you on the next one don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button deuces <laughs>